Good morning, South Africa and the world. <laughs> We're on our way to Bosov in the Free State for a hunting trip. Hi guys, we got a hunting trip planned for the next three days in Bosov with Ben, Ruan and Dani. After that, we're going to be going nearby to Kimberley to visit Pit Els on his farm and we are going to see some of South Africa's best wildlife specimens and stay tuned for that. It'll be near the end of the video. Please enjoy this catch cook show. We had a lot of fun making it and look forward to the next adventure. Salute. 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 Cheers, man. Friday morning, uh, we're going out, we're going to see if we can shoot a gemspok. Um, um, Dani wants to shoot a gemspok and a uh, impala. <laughs> and impala. <laughs> and impala, we're going to strike it with one shot and then we will have a barbecue later this evening. <laughs> 300. Um, the bullets I'm going to use is Hornady Super Performance, it's 165 grain. All spring box, all impalas, all flak farke you can go for. If there's anything else you'd like to shoot, stop me. But if I see spring box, you see spring box in Palas, Flak Farke. Yes, sir. Behind that green tree. Get there, get there. So I shot an Impala, it's a young ram. Um, yeah, for me, Impala is very nice meat, and I can't wait to, to make potong from it. Beautiful water buck, but they don't, eat, they, they don't make good table fare. Okay, I'm waiting for, for you to turn to the side. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so this one was shot shot at the at the sable camp. It was a walk and stalk, about a 200 meter shot. Um, it was nice sh shot, just above the knocks. The one was in the in the neck. Um, yeah, this one is going straight to the pot tonight. So here we are stuck in the middle of the bush felt uh, with a flat tire and uh, thank God for a bush mechanic. So I want you to guess who did the shopping for this trip. The one who guesses it first, um, put in the comment section below, will receive a camouflaged, catch cook, sublimated action t-shirt. This is a um, impala sausage. We're working night and day, hunting, preparing meat, making mints and sausage. So we're gonna try our sausage tonight. Thank you. Guys, this is 7 o'clock in the morning. It's a bit cold here. Guys, this is 7 o'clock in the morning. It's a bit cold here. Day two of our hunt in Bosov, corner Free State and Northern Cape near Kimberley. It's uh, super cold this morning and we're hoping to have a very exciting day in the felt and harvest a lot of organic meat. Hopefully put something on the barbecue on the bride tonight. That's a hening.
we can see that many of you guys that enjoy our videos and watch our videos haven't actually subscribed yet. It would really help the channel and would help us if you guys take the time to subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of our next videos. What a nice day in Kimberley. I just saw the uh, Oryx. Kimbo. Okay. Kimbo. Straight from frozen into the pan. <laughs> The shortage we, we cooking tonight was in Kala and uh, we cut up the, the um, fillets and we made um, sushati. So we married it now for six hours. So we're enjoying the meat we hunted this week. So yeah, we're gonna have a proper venison sushati tonight and it looks great. Okay, so let's have a look at it. This is cowboy stew, smoked smoke basket, tomato, onion, five horses. Water, water. water. When we come for the hunt, we always bring our personal hey, chef. Um, Tank Bergie. Garden gnome. <laughs> Guys, to all the catch cook viewers out there, South Africa and around the world, it's always very difficult when you shoot, when you're on a hunt and you shoot game and you want to prepare it fresh, but game is better left hanging for a week or so. Anybody's got any good recipes and good marinades um, and just uh, good techniques of cooking the heart and the liver and stuff that can be harvested immediately and prepared immediately, then please, guys, put it in the comment section below. We'll make reference to you when we try it out on our next hunt. I'm going to call the bucket to come help us. Okay, guys, so I just shot a nice flak flak on about 100 meters. It's a 260 oh. Remington. I'm gonna make a smoked cheese grillers. That's the story. Aggressively, after this great experience, this farm that we hunted on was burned to the ground in a politically motivated farm attack. South Africa is experiencing a lot of farm attacks that are regrettably end up in uh, damage to property, loss of life, rape. It has reached the World Forum with even President Donald Trump commenting on it. My heart goes out to all the farmers that have lost their farms, their livestock, their livelihoods, their cattle and their game and their business opportunities. Night so after a great three days hunting and harvesting a lot of organic meat, we're going to do a bit of game viewing, a bit of a safari on our friend Pete Elsa's farm, Grove Fontaine. Yeah, what a what a great three days, and uh, we're looking forward to spending a bit of time with Pete. The horns on these animals are the biggest in the industry, probably the biggest in South Africa. And some species will show you. It's really, just a privilege to be able to sit here, have some lunch, and look at these beautiful animals. So we're not hunting here, we're just on a bit of a safari and, and visiting pets. But how unbelievable are these animals on this farm? I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more Catch Cook videos, please subscribe. Please hit the bell so that you can get notified of the next video. And um, please comment, I mean, we'll get back to you. If you